Hello subscribers, here is another unboxing video, and as you can see, I've got three packages here. And I know I've been buying a lot of stuff lately because I've been finding a lot of good deals and a lot of affordable rare items. So let's start by opening up the small bag here. Well, before I open up the packages, I want to show you guys a couple new stuff I bought last week. And as you can see, they're all Legos. So as you can see here, the Lego Alligator, Shark, and Sawfish. I got them all in total for about $9 on eBay. And this whole set right here, the Dual Officers on the Loose, it was on sale at Walmart for $16. As you can see, it has this pretty cool looking Dilophosaurus here. And then I got the um, the Carnotaurus on eBay for about $25. And then the T-Rex right there for about $22 on Amazon, which I think is a really good deal. So let's move on to the packages now. Now here is the first package. As you can see, I already cut open the hole so I can save time on this video. So let's get the figure out. There he is. As you can see, this is the Lego Velociraptor from the um, Lego Lego Dino 2012 line. As you can see, he looks pretty cool. I'm really digging these colors right here. Ooh, nice jaw articulation on that one too. It's very stable and that satisfying clicking noise. And the rubber tail. So yeah, this is a, a pretty cool figure for my collection. Now let's move on to the next package. Here's the second package. And um, this is a pretty odd packaging here. As you can see, it's this um, plastic Christmas wrapping here. Something I'm not used to. I, I was expecting like a cardboard box. But as you can see, I already opened up a hole. So let's just, you know, get the thing out of the package. Yep, as you can see, it's the... Um, Lego Dress World Fallen Kingdom Pteranodon Escape Set, which I got on eBay for $16 in free shipping. And I thought uh, these sets would be more expensive, considering that the fact that they're um, discontinued and that they were made in um, 2018. So yeah, see? The front side and the back. They're yeah, pretty cool. I can't wait to get this open. And of course, another Lego th another Lego um, thing for my collection. So yeah, that's the Pteranodon Escape. Now, here is the final package, and um, it's the figure I'm most excited for, and I'm um, the only non-LEGO figure in the set, so let's get all the extra stuff out of the way. Here's the figure, and oh, see, look at this cool little card right here, the Dinosaur Park Toy Store, never heard of this, so yeah, pretty cool card. Now, let's open up the figure itself. Whoa, oh, okay, I wasn't expecting this figure to be new condition, I thought it was a uh, use. So, as you can see... It's the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus, or Leptonectes. See, now let's get him out. Oh, he's, okay, the figure's a bit larger than I was expecting it to be. Really nice colors, even though they're inaccurate. See, as you can see here, uh, Leptoterigius is no longer a valid name. They changed it to Leptonectes. Yeah, this figure, uh, this figure exceeded my expectations uh, just by looking at it. See the proportions are pretty good, and I can't, and I'm um, and I'm curious to see how this compares with the uh, recent Safari 2020 Ichthyosaurus. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my new unboxing video. Just for a quick recap, we have the Lego Dino 2012 Velociraptor, the Lego Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Torrenton on Escape set, and of course the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus or Leptonectes. And yeah, I I think these will be the last new figures I'll be getting in a while because I've been buying so much to this uh, these past few weeks and I feel like I need a cool down a bit. So from now on, I'll be reviewing the figures in this video and also some other figures I have in my collection. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the review.